Hey folks, welcome to Fun Party Beverage Facts. This is a little show where I share with you facts, trivia, and general whatnot about wine and other party beverages with the hopes of maybe entertaining you, but also giving you some fun stories to tell at your next social gathering. So today we're going to be talking about wine. We're going to be talking about one of the most basic fundamental facts in winemaking. But even though it's a real basic fact, it's surprising how many people have no clue about this whatsoever. So we start with a basic question. And that question is, what is the main difference in how you make red wine versus white wine? Now, a lot of people might answer that question with the answer, oh, you use red grapes versus white grapes. And there's a certain amount of truth to that, but actually we could make a white wine from red grapes. The, the answer is it's all in the grape skins. So if we're making a white wine, the basic second step in making that wine is going to be to press the juice off the skins and get rid of the skins. We are not going to use the skins at all in making a white wine. Get rid of them, throw them away, recycle them, feed them to the cattle, whatever we're going to do. But when we make a red wine, we've got to have the skins in there during the fermentation process. So we're going to crush, destem the grapes. Basically, some winemakers are use a whole berry fermentation. That's another story. But we're going to put the skins, the pulp, all the stuff, it's called the must. We're going to put that in there, and we're going to ferment it for the entire fermentation process with all those skins in there. That's where all the color comes from, the skins. It's also why you hear people say red wines are healthier for you. Like many fruits and vegetables, there's more nutrients, there's more antioxidants, and so on in the skins. Now, if you're a white wine drinker, don't be worried. There's still benefits, health benefits, to drinking white wine. Now, we once we're done with the fermentation process with the red wine, then we're going to press it off of the skins and all that other stuff to get rid of that. But by then, we've got this dark, deep, nice red wine versus white wine. Now, what about rosé, everybody's favorite pink wine? Well, we're going to make a rosé wine in the same way that we're going to make a red wine. But we're only going to leave the skins in there for a short while. Could be a matter of hours, could be a matter of a couple of days, but definitely not for the entire fermentation process. Just a short period, then press it off the skins, and that's why we're left with that pink color rather than the deep, dark red. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Fun Party Beverage Facts. I am your host, Pierre. As always, this video was brought to you by Grapevine Distributors. These are the guys that find the greatest deals on wine in the world and then bring them to your favorite watering hole, restaurant, country club, wherever you like to drink. Check them out on Facebook and check out their website. Again, Grapevine Distributors. And until next time, cheers. Damn, that's good.